This week is all about detecting trends. And in the previous video, we used conditional formatting, added colors to our data to get a sense of what products are doing best. However, there's a risk in using colors. Some people are colorblind and they might be very bad at distinguishing red from green. And also some people might think it's visually not very attractive to have lots of colors on a spreadsheet. And there is some sense in that. So in this video, I'm going to show you an alternative way of quickly exploring your data. And this way is called Sparklines and it was designed by a man called Edward Tuft. And he is like the godfather of data visualization. Below the video, we will put a few links to a few of his books that are really, really great. If you want to learn more about how to visualize your data in a concise but beautiful way, I can really recommend these books. So one of the things he invented is called Sparklines and it is now embedded into Excel. So we want to make a sparkline for this and normally I would place it on the bottom there, but because I don't have room on my screen for this time, I'm going to put the sparklines next to the data. So I'm just going to copy the header and what I do then is I'm going to go to insert and I say insert a line. It's not called sparkline, but just line, a little bit misleading. So we select the data that we want and there, bam, we get a nice tiny little graphic showing the flow of the data, the trend of the data. And you see the top right there on the top of the graph is the same as the green cells that we had before. We can even select high point and then you get a mark. Like a formula, we can drag these spark lines and then we automatically get it for pants and shoes and socks and for the total. And you see for socks there, we have the top right there as we have the top in the data. So it's a really nice way to look at your data. And like with conditional formatting, there are lots of different options that you can use. For example, you can change them into a column bar instead of a trend, which is also nice. I think it's a bit harder in this situation to see the trend, but it's a lot easier to see where the high points are. And there's one other option, win and loss. I'm not going to talk about that because that's what you will be doing in the exercises. 